Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, folks. Michael Zuber, one rental at a time. This is your Saturday live stream. We're going to do a little bit different on this Saturday live stream. We usually go for 60 minutes. We are only going to go for 45 minutes today because I need to get ready for my 9 a.m. deep dive. Yes, folks, at 9 a.m., if you're one of my students, you should have gotten an invite from Teachable. If you're in my private Facebook group, the link is there. We're going to go uh, and I'm going to give a presentation that I created uh, with the idea that, hey, Michael, do me a favor, come to one rent or come, sorry, come to the Bigger Pockets event in San Diego. We'd love to have you. Uh, we'd love to hear what you think uh, one rental at a time, uh, what you're telling your fans and folks. I was not invited, uh, but I'm pretending I was. And this is the presentation that I will give at nine o'clock uh, this morning if I was there. So you're going to get to see it. Uh, if you're in my group, you'll see it at nine o'clock today. And if you're just one of my YouTube fans and subscribers, which I love you, thank you very much. You will see it tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. So uh, that's happening today. I want to make sure it's all set to go. Uh, so this will be ending at 845. And then second, again, I will riff for a little while. Remember, folks, this is for you. So if you have questions, go ahead and put them in the comments. Uh, Saturday mornings are for you. Ask your questions, say hello, uh, whatever you would like, uh, and uh, we will move from there. So I want to just really quickly here talk about the November 12th event. It is on. Uh, unfortunately, it will not be headlined by Pace, Morby, and Jamil. There was a scheduling snafu. Uh, so what we will be doing instead, and I'm excited about, is we're going to do a one rental at a time event only. It is at a different location. We have gone from 600 seats to 200, and um, it is going to be a very much a Mike Zuber event. We're going to do things differently. I have been to two or 300 conferences in my life because of my sales career. Most of them are boring death by PowerPoint. We aren't going to have any of that. We are going to do this interview style. We are going to have eight amazing people come in and maybe some surprise guests and talk to you about their experience, what they're doing in today's market. More importantly, dare I say most importantly, I want you to think about this event as a mastermind. A lot of the masterminds we see out there are five, ten, twenty, thirty thousand dollars. What is a mastermind really? It's a group of like-minded individuals that come in and share exactly what they are doing and ask questions. Essentially, that is what a mastermind is. What I am going to give you for $27 is a one rental at a time mastermind. I am bringing in eight people that are in my ecosystem and you, yes, you can ask them questions. I'm going to go through the list really quickly. And again, remember today is for you. So if you have questions or want to say hello, put them in the comments. After I'm done with this oppressive list, we will get to your comments. We are going to hear from people, again, that I think you need to hear from. You need to hear from positive people taking action so that you can take action in the face of fear. In no particular order, and I have not put any order together. I was on the phones and emails yesterday trying to get all of these confirmations. We are going to have Cody and Christensen come down from Seattle and talk about how these young men have built a portfolio of nearly 200 units, how they bought a resort for $3.5 million, all with seller financing. Wouldn't you like to see how they are finding sellers off market, on market, how they are structuring deals with seller financing? I know I would. They're going to be there. And again, you can ask them questions. How about Adrian Hernandez? Adrian Hernandez has his own playlist on this channel. He is a real estate entrepreneur in Orange County. Uh, he has a flipping business in the Inland Empire. He is also my mindset guy. What is going on? Uh, how do we protect our mind? How do we strengthen our mind? How do we how do we keep moving forward in what undoubtedly is going to be, as Greg Dickerson says all the time, two bad years. We had the good time, folks. It's hard to believe that the pandemic was the good time. Does that just does that just make you go, hmm? Well, it certainly makes me go, 
Mm. We're up. We've got to pay the price for all the stimulus money, the $8 trillion or whatever the heck was created, the big balance sheet by the Fed. There's pain ahead. But where there's pain, there's opportunity. We're going to find out who's swimming naked. And if we are ready for it, we are going to take advantage. Then we're going to hear from Beth. Beth is a top 1% agent. She is an investor. She is a house hacker. She has made amazing moves. If you are in the real estate game, I promise you, you're going to want to hear from Beth and how she is in a top 1% agent in the country. And she is still making moves. She just did a seller finance deal uh, a couple of weeks ago and got one of these, uh, one of these cards. So she is making moves and will be making more moves going forward. And I suggest you want to hear from her. Then you're going to hear from Brian Lebo. How many of you come to my channel to hear Brian Lebo talk about Vegas? Isn't that guy amazing? Isn't he just detail oriented? He, the fact that he's been doing this for 10 years, I just shout out and respect. We are going to get to feel about what is going on with Vegas. We're going to go back and replay Vegas crash, Vegas 65, 70% drop. We're going to relate it to my experience in Fresno. And we're going to look at what dominoes are the same and what dominoes are different. He's going to talk about, hey, if you're looking to buy investment properties in Vegas, he thinks your time is coming. And he thinks your time is probably closer than you think. So we're going to hear from Brian, uh, Brian Lebo, an amazing Vegas agent. Then we're going to hear from Omar. How many of you want to hear from a former bartender at a family restaurant to real estate entrepreneur? I know I do. How did he do it? How is he changing his business? How is he growing? How is, how, how is he taking a couple of small L's and moving forward? We're going to hear from TYLG, Ty. He's my Friday expert. He's been in the game longer than me. He's been doing this 30 years. He's been through two or three cycles. He got burned in the 08 cycle. We're going to talk about what he did wrong, how he got out of it. What is he doing now? Door knocking. He is investing in Fresno in the hub. It is going to be uh, amazing. Then we're going to, of course, bring Dion. Dion's going to be there. He's going to bring his, he is going to bring sample binders. Yes, folks, we are old. We use paper. Actual physical binder strategy. He's going to talk about how he self-manages 18 units with two hours a month. Pretty cool. And of course, we can talk about the key steps in his journey to financial freedom. And then, of course, I also have a couple of lenders lined up. We're going to talk about lending programs that are working, uh, both what's going on, debt service, non-QM, things of that nature. And of course, I am working on other special things. Let's see if this works. If you want to come to this event, here is the link. This is one rental at a time only. Can I pin that? I don't know. Can I Let's see? Pin message. Look at that. How about that? So again, this event, only 200 seats, uh, 27 bucks, mastermind. This is coming together in real time. Again, I was up, I was down, and now I'm excited again. So I hope to see all of you there. So at least 200 of you <laughs> there. So let's go to the top. Let's start interacting because we've only got... Uh, 37 minutes left. Hey there, Nathan. How are you? Better Home Rental. Good morning. Rolden, good morning. Julie, good morning. Uh, Ernest, you should find the video a few months ago where you called 7% interest rates by October. Nailed it. Yep, I sure did. I sure did. It's. Uh, I've been, my batting average this year is probably, if you don't know what batting average is, it's a baseball analogy. It's probably 700, maybe 650. I'm certainly in the Hall of Fame, right? You're in the Hall of Fame if you're over 300 or yeah, 300. We're having a pretty good year. I am dude, I am really nervous about CPI. CPI and again, I tried to I tried to help you see this last month. I'll do it again right here. CPI headline is not where you need to look. When when Thursday CPI comes out, you got to look at core. And do oh my god, I just got expectations for core. We did 6.3. We did 6.3 last month and the stock market tanked. Do you guys realize that the expectation for this month is 6.6? Six, six? If core goes up three tenths of a point, the Fed is going to crush us. And as I told you, watch core, 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 core. So it looks like the stock market in the experts finally woke up. All I have to say, folks, is to this, this is to the experts. 
Welcome to being right. Yeah, CPI on Thursday is going to be very, I'm nervous. Can you, a 6.3 tank the market? What the hell is a 6.6 going to do? Oh, not good. Happy Saturday, Saturday. Yay. Hey, Dion, how are you? Dion, again, folks, Dion, if you ever wanted to ask Dion a question, if you ever want to get a selfie with Dion, maybe get Dion to autograph one of my books. I don't know about you, but I might do that. I might get Dion to autograph one of my books. Hey, uh, Ultimate Bargains, Jeffrey, how are you? I hope you're feeling good. Dogs are asleep. I don't want to wake them up. Hey, John, how are you? Uh, Matt, do you think 8% mortgage rates for owner rock loans are in the cards? With more rate hikes on the way and inflation being stubborn, it looks possible to me. So yes, I think it's possible. Um. I would argue it might even be probable. So possible, yes, probable, maybe. But the good news is I don't think they're there long. I don't think they're there long. How do we get to 8% owner rock rates? Well, the Fed sees an ugly CPI number. They bang us with 75. They bang us with 75. They bang us with 50. Then what you're going to, then I think, I don't think I personally, as of today, October 8th, I don't see the Fed raising rates much next year after their first meeting. I think their first meeting is their last raise, and then they're going to wait. They're going to they're going to wait months because at that point they would have taken rates from zero to let's call it five percent. What then will happen with a five percent Fed funds rate is you will see banks add on a three hundred or three hundred ba- three hundred and fifty basis point margin which will get us to eight or eight and a half. But then as mortgage business slows or dries up, they will collapse the spread. A lot of people calling for eight, nine, 10% mortgages don't realize we are currently at a four standard deviation move in the margin. The margin typically from the Fed funds to a 30-year owner rock, best credit, all of that is one and a half to 1.7. We are at 300 or 310 basis points today. That is a four standard deviation move. That eventually collapses. It it won't collapse until the Fed pauses, which I think is in Q1 of next year. So it's a lot closer than people think. That is my current opinion. As of October 8th, I could change my mind this afternoon. But that's what I'm thinking. Hey, Matt, how are you? Uh, Alyssa, will you be recording the event uh, for the ones that can't make it? Uh, I'm doing all of this in real time. It is absolutely something I am planning to do, something I likely need to pay for, of course. Um, Yes, that is my plan. Can I guarantee it as of today? No. But am I planning? Yes. Uh, More on, yeah. This, This all happened in the last 12 hours where I went from being high to super low to high again. So, yes, that is my hope. Have you seen cap rates change yet due to rising rates? Uh, Again, I don't play in the big multi-family space. I've talked to Anna, Jonathan, Greg offline. Yes. Really what's going on in the big multi-family space is a lot like residential. There's disagreements. Sellers are living in yesterday. Buyers are living in the future. There's not a lot of trading going on in multifamily today. The market is dried up. It will probably take till spring. Uh, But in essence, yeah, cap rates are going up, at least on the buyer side. Sellers sellers may not understand, uh, but it's happening for sure. I may have to revise to a higher number my estimate of 8% for owner rock home loans by the end of 2022. Wow, 8%, 20. Well, I mean, it's certainly possible, as you know. I don't think it's probable, though, because let's say we get 75 and 50, which is what I'm calling for. That's going to take the Fed funds to four and a quarter, four and a half. Then you're going to add 300. I mean, it's po- it's absolutely possible. It It's possible. But, uh, man, 6% destroyed housing. Seven is going to crush it. What the heck is eight going to do? Oh. Yeah. Yeah, maybe. Maybe. 
with your temper tantrum about BP, why don't you do reactions to their videos that you disagree with, especially Green, the face of BP? I don't think I am doing a temper tantrum, but whatever. I am basically trying to put out, hey, BP, if you want a unbiased opinion about what's going on, here's my opinion. So I take offense to that. I don't see it as a temper tantrum. Am I upset that we weren't invited? Yeah. I think one rental at a time community is awesome and full of people doing the work, not hopes and visions. And it be, it's not a spot where people are preyed on. So I'm going to do, I, I created a PowerPoint that I would feel great giving at that event. If you think that's a temper tantrum, that's on you, not on me. Good morning, Investor Wealth. How are you? What? Clint, what is the strategy mechanisms of including the loan interest rate as a contingency in a purchase agreement as you advise a guest earlier this week to do as a seller? Uh, I don't remember that, but basically in all, again, residential contracts, there's a contingency called a loan contingency. You can put anything you want in there. Um, yeah, you could put in a loan contingency. You could put in a loan contingency. Uh, sub to lower rate of whatever, pick your number. Uh, the beauty is today, buyers, buyers, Clint, have all the power. So go get your appraisals, go get your inspections, go get your loan contingencies, put every contingency you want on an offer. Sellers have almost no, no power today. The pandemic was a good time for asset price appreciation. Yeah, no doubt. I mean, when you think about the pandemic being the good times, it just, it baffles my mind. Uh, but yeah, definitely. When you print $8 trillion and you give STEMI money to everyone and you have this uh, PPP loans, which had full of fraud, you see some very interesting behavior. Yep. Yep. How about just forgetting about bigger pockets? You know, that's an interesting question. And again, and you'll see it in the PowerPoint. It's kind of like the first slides. Whether we like it or not, you and I, Bigger pockets is where a lot of new investors go. And they go there for lots of great reasons. Most of the folks watching this went to bigger pockets at some point. I did. I wrote for bigger pockets over a decade ago, maybe 15 years ago. New, whether we like it or not, people go to bigger pockets. And I want to create something that I feel good about that maybe some new folks will see and go, wow, there really is a different way. I don't think you can forget about bigger pockets. It is a beast. It is a publishing house. It is the monster in the space. For for right or wrong, doesn't matter. I don't pass judgment. It is a fact that they are the biggest on the biggest on the planet. And I think ignoring them is a mistake. I think there's a lot of people that go to bigger pockets that we can help. And I want to help them. So I don't think you can forget about them. What are the cards? I always see them, but do, still don't know what they're about. Oh, man. I guess I should do a better job. So what are these? So I don't know about you, uh, but I do this YouTube thing because I'm trying to help. Uh, so what are these cards? Basically, these cards I send out to anyone who successfully closes a deal. And today, folks, we're only doing great deals. So this morning... We're sending two cards, one to Cam and one to Chase. And they got deals done. So they get recognized. It says 500. Congratulations, one of 500. You did it. I am so happy for you. How to get started one rental at a time. So these cards were my initial mechanism to track when we get to 500, which we blew out, which then led to a monster donation. Again, we're, we're a giving channel. Uh, so what happened when we hit 500? Uh, I, I think we donated 15 grand, as I recall, uh, to the Fresno Food Bank. Um, so, yeah, these cards are just how we track. Now that we've hit that goal, we're still doing these. I bought a big pile of them. So, yeah, these are cards. People take pictures, selfies, frame them. If you've got one of these cards, do me a favor. Take, take a selfie and tag me on Instagram. That would be great. Put me on Facebook. Tag me on Facebook. So, yeah, these cards are just a way for me. For me to congratulate you. Doing the work is hard. Being consistent is hard. So when Cam and Chase got deals, 
I wanted to send him a card and congratulate him. So that's what the cards are. Good morning, Anna. How are you? Junior, good morning. Are they a free book? I don't have any free books. How much is a gallon of gas in your area currently? Gas in California today is like near me is probably six fifty, six sixty. Uh I don't know what gas was a month ago. It was lower. I don't know what it was. Yeah, I don't know. Lower. Yeah, lower. Iron Mountain like is a fan of Dion. Yep. All of us are fans of Dion. Who could not like Dion? Just a giver, you know, single dad, family of th three kids, 17 bucks an hour, 90K in debt, financially free in eight, worked four more years because he loved his job. Who could not love Dion? It's just, just a quality guy. Hey, Pal V, how are you? Didn't get notifications? Yeah, I have no idea. I'm, I, I don't even know. Yeah, sorry. Don't know. Ultimate bargains, we'll, we'll miss you. Sorry you can't make it. I hope you feel better. No worries. Larry, good morning from Indiana. Nailed it. Yep. U6. U6, so U3 was 3.5. U6, which again is the other metric, which includes underemployed and those not lurking, I believe came down as well. I want to say it was 6.8. Six nine, don't quote me on that, but it was it was actually better than I expected. Yeah, U six is down quite a bit as well. Lumberjack, oh, lumberjack in the house. Yep, made in America. There you go. It works for me. A lot of manufacturing coming home. Yay, Victor! Make sure we take a selfie. Um, yeah, bring your books if you have them. I want to. The twelfth event is going to be one hundred percent one rental at a time. It would have been great to do an event with Pace, and I'm sure we will do one in the future. But you know, one the November 12th event is one rental at a time. And just like everything I do on this channel, it's it's for you. This is no PowerPoint, zero, no PowerPoint, no projector. I'm not even bringing a projector. I want people just to talk. I want the audience to ask questions. This is going to be a mastermind with eight amazing people who give back on this channel. For 27 bucks. Now, I know some of you have to travel and all of that. That is not lost on me. Um, but 27 bucks, kind of crazy, kind of fun. Buenos dias. Got my tickets yesterday. Woohoo. Jose, thank you very much. Got your tickets to the one rental at a time event, I hope. Yep. Awesome. Congratulations. Thank you. Uh, yeah. Just so you guys know, Jose, do me a favor. Uh, there was a, about a 12 hour window where the event was for uh, the pace event. Now it is the one rental at a time event. Not that you won't be taken care of because I take care of everyone. Uh, but I just want to make sure you got the right event. So double check. The link is above, by the way. And again, I do think the pace event happens. We are actively, actively working on securing a different date and location. But I'm we're going to do the one rental at a time event on the 12th. No doubt. Persona. Good morning. Are you planning for another food bank donation along with the November 12th event? That is absolutely my goal. Uh, but right now, um, I'm just trying to scramble to get the event up. I guarantee you if we have any profit, which right now I don't think we will. Right. Because, again, this is just how it works. I'm full disclosure. Right. We're selling these tickets at twenty seven bucks. Which I get 25 of that because two bucks goes to Eventbrite, who's the software that's loading it. We, we have a max capacity of 200. That's five grand. I have already committed to spending 10 grand. And I'm not even done. So this event is going to be a loser for me. But it is important for me uh, to do it. So yeah, we, we might do a... My hope is we can do some kind of food bank donation. Yes. But again, I'm I'm running as fast as I can just to get the 12th event going. But yeah, that, thank you, Persona, for being a great person and asking. That that's The food bank's a big deal for me because I my family could have used that for sure back in the day. Dave made the live stream. Woohoo! 
Bigger pockets is too big. It's overwhelming. Your channel keeps me focused. Thank you for all you do. I appreciate the comments, Julie. This is uh, the good thing about one rental at a time. I don't know if people realize this. I don't consider one rental at a time my thing. We have eight, nine, some weeks, 10 millionaires come on and talk to you. The fact that they keep coming back every week is a sign that these people want to give. It's really all of our channel. So I'm um, I'm thrilled every week when they when they when they come and show up. What do you think about the video of Ken with the speaker talking about tokenization? I used to go to Bigger Pockets, but not anymore. I get more information here, one rental at a time. Thank you so much, Monica. I have to be honest. I saw the video with Ken. I have not watched it. The one about tokenization. I haven't watched it. Uh, having not watched it, I can only guess. Uh, I think the blockchain makes a lot of sense for real estate. Uh, I think the title system that I have, an escrow system is arcane. I think it is ripe for tokenization or blockchain. Uh, but I have not seen the video, so I should probably not come any more than that. Uh, just want to say I appreciate your post in Bigger Pockets over a decade ago and have found you to be rare exception in keeping consistent with quality content. Clint, I appreciate that. Yeah. Uh, do yourself a favor. If you want a very good laugh, there's an interview with me and Josh Dorkin back when Bigger Pockets was nothing. It was like episode 80. And I just remember having these big fat cheeks. They're like, I was way overweight. I, I look at that screenshot and laugh. It's motivation to work out. But if you watch or listen to that video, there's very little that's changed 15 years later. So I, what I have works, what I have works and helps others. I see no reason to, you know, be dramatic and do this, that. Yeah, it's just not who I am. So Clint, thank you very much for the shout out. I appreciate it. Like the haircut, zero, zero, zero. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Yep. Thanks for never hawking fear, uncertainty and doubt with for clicks. Yeah, I, I, uh, I don't think it's, um, that's just not who I am. I think that loses long term. I do think the next two years are going to suck. I've been very clear about that. But just like last time, opportunity exists past fear. So buckle up, protect yourself, do the work, do the work. Oh, uh, when do you think Fed raises actually affect unemployment? Uh, I don't know when affect. Um, I think Q4, generally speaking, is a good good quarter for uh, employment. A lot of, I mean, Amazon announced they're hiring 150,000 workers. Jeez. So it's going to be Q1. It has to be Q1. I don't, I don't, yeah, Q1 is going to be rough. I, I'm just a wild ass guess. Uh, you bought, you know how to build housing? Hey, that's, that's, a, that's a nice skill. Uh, Monica, where do you get tickets? There's a link pinned above, uh, the event bright ticket location. That's there. 27 bucks. Again, you should buy these early. We only got 200 spots and, uh, we're selling a bunch of seats already. So, uh, if you think you can make it, I suggest buying, I suggest buying. Can I help you with anything? Oh, that's very sweet of you. Um, thank you very much. Monica, are you in Fresno? Forgive me. I don't know where you're located. If you're in Fresno, maybe. Uh, if not, I, I appreciate the ask. You are so wonderful. Um, I think the only thing, if, if you're not in Fresno and you want to help me, maybe tag me and, and tell people to go to the event. I'd love to sell out this event in two weeks. You know how much of a kick it would be to go from doing a 600-person event to seeing it taken away from you to deciding to do a 200-person event? And then seeing that event sell out in two weeks, I got to tell you, that would be a huge ego boost if we could sell out the event in two weeks. So if anybody wants to help me by marketing this event, do whatever you can. I would appreciate it. If we can sell this out in two weeks, I would be so ecstatic. Uh, what are Pace and Jamil doing on the 12th? Pace and Jamil apparently have their mastermind. Uh, apparently, somebody on Pace's team uh, moved the date, which they were unaware of. Pace and Jamil have been wonderful. 
They've apologized endlessly. It was a total screw up. Um, they are wonderful people. I've met both Pace and Jamil. I've talked to Laura Morby, Laura Morby, Pace's wife, dozens of times. She was an expert for a while until their birth of their latest child. So this is not, there's no hate. There's no animosity, nothing. It was just a mess up. Uh, so they will be hosting their own mastermind, which is awesome. Which I can tell you is not $27. Not that much I can tell you. That nah, it's funny. I don't know. I thought that was funny. Uh, love that you share different perspectives. You own it, admit mistakes. Absolutely. And very important. You vet the people you have on the show. I appreciate you for sharing the knowledge. Um, thank you very much. I appreciate it. Yeah. It's um. let's just say I get 20 to 30 requests to be on my show a week now, right? We we've got I don't know, whatever it is, 600,000, maybe 700,000 views on YouTube a month. We probably get five or 600,000 on podcasts. Guys, I don't know if you know this, but I have a podcast as well. Zero, zero original content. But if you would rather listen on a podcast, there's a podcast called One Rental at a Time. We've got almost 7 million listens. So yeah, listen where you'd like. Yeah, but a lot of people are asking to be on. Most people get a big fat no. Uh, what if the rate increases doesn't work? Um, junior, history says they will eventually work. They will Again, they will eventually work. Historically speaking, just so we don't get confused, usually in every other cycle where inflation was over 5%, the Fed has had to take the funds rate above inflation. I certainly hope they don't have to do that this time. But Junior, eventually it's going to work. Could you maybe do a pay for streaming Zoom at the event? Um, I just have to say no. I mean, I'm having so much trouble getting this thing spun up as is. That said, um, who's, who asked that? Sean? There is a. My intention is to record it and then make it available somehow, probably paid for something. I don't think streaming it's my answer. That just adds a level of complexity I am not comfortable with. That said, I do see recording it and then sharing it. Yes, absolutely. Uh, there is a channel called Cody and Christensen Multifamily Strategy on YouTube. I wonder if they are over the head. They are only 19. Uh, yeah, so they are coming to my event. We can ask them all those questions. And I think they're 22 now. I think they may have started at 19. I've interviewed them both individually. Uh, and now they're coming to this event on November 12th. I have all kinds of questions. That said, I think the most important thing for you and I is not that, hey, they have 100 doors over their skis. I want to know from Cody and Christensen how they are finding sellers to seller finance. Can you imagine being a 65-year-old in seller financing to a 22-year-old who may or may not have the down payment? I want to know how they're founding, how they're building relationships, how they're networking, how they're having a seller say yes. I think that is going to be a very cool conversation. Have I seen their channel? No. Have I interviewed them? Yes. Chris, when using the 50, 40, 10, if I have interest only 40% with a balloon payment after 10, would I be able to refinance that after the prepayment penalty of five years? Have you done this? Uh, you per, you know, well, I have no idea what rates and values will be, but yeah, you can, of course, yeah. That's that's the beauty of the 50-40-10 is you should be chunking off uh, principal on the first in this example, which should create an equity spread that allows you to refi. I mean, that would be my goal. I don't know if you have enough equity spread after five years, but you certainly should at 10 years. That's why I would only do 10 years. But yeah, based on where rates are and all of that, absolutely. That's my intention. For most of my 50, 40, 10s, I want to refi into permanent financing somewhere between five and 10 years. That's the beauty of that program. Make an event in Florida. The Zoom idea is great. Thank you very much. I like it. 120 or more watch, 30 or so like. 
Oh, don't forget to hit the, oh yeah, 130 people watching, 38 likes. Like, subscribe, comment, support the channel. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Joe, or John, sorry, John Doe, I agree. Um, Brandon, David, all the other BP hosts wouldn't have a fraction of their deals if they weren't platform putting their faces out there. Um, I will say that you will like my presentation here at 9 o'clock. I pointed that um, pretty clearly. I wonder if they can keep up with the price of labor. I'm guessing we're talking about the Fed there. I don't know. Uh, do you have much experience with selling houses with lease option? I have exactly zero experience. Not my not my area. A payout is a hard price. Okay, congratulations, Adrian. I don't know what that means, but you're you're happy. I'm happy. Uh, I spent over twenty seven dollars for dinner last night. <laughs> This event is such a great value. I got my tickets and looking forward to it. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Yeah. Um, yeah. I mean, I, I, I've got some, some, yeah. Let's just say that this event is going to be a money loser for me, but I'm still doing it because I want to see all of you. I want to get 200. I want to get 200 like-minded one rental at a time fans in one room. I think that's just going to vibrate with excitement. It's going to be pretty awesome. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, tickets purchased. Very, very cool. Have you watched any of Peter Zellman's videos about global macro environment? Very eye-opening. Recommend. I have not watched his stuff. I've seen a couple people recommend his stuff. I have not watched it yet. I probably should. No, not probably 30 people have asked. Yeah, I probably should. I have many questions for Cody and Christian as well. I want to know how they get the money to rebuild uh, rebuild the buildings. Well, that's probably insurance, I would guess. But yeah, I mean, again, when we, you know, one of the things that like with Cody and Christensen, I, I don't want us to attack them. I want to take the pieces that work and dig them out. Of course, I want to ask about the debt structure and all of that because it's just fascinates me as a numbers guy. But clearly they are doing something that I am not. And I'm like, dude, I gotta, I gotta learn from these guys. So it's going to be fun for what it's worth. I think using interest only for years means your deal is too thin on cash debt coverage. Yeah. I don't know. I, 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 I usually use interest only just cause it's easier for me. <laughs> I don't like doing mortgage schedules and all of that. I usually, I default to interest only. So I understand what you're saying. Uh, I just disagree. I use interest only all that. I don't, so let me just make sure this is true. Oh, it's not true. So of all the seller financing deals, I would say 80% are interest only, 10% are zero interest, maybe 15% are zero, and then I have one that's fully amortized. Thank God for title and escrow doing the calculations. But yeah, I mean, it's it's just easier for me. And maybe it's lazy. Maybe I'm lazy. Have I tried any of the niche loan products from the boys at Convoy yet? No, not yet. I was excited about their second. Uh, I don't know, about six, maybe eight weeks ago, they talked about a second. They teased it. In that episode, you heard me say, cool, I want that product. Uh, but then when the details came out the next week or the week after, they had some limits on the loan. And I'm like, well, the, the properties I was going to use don't work. That said, I've had dozens of people use Convoy. The 40-year product, the 10-year I.O. product, they love them. Co Con Convoy's gotten great feedback. Convoy would not be on my channel if I got lots of negative feedback. Ne near as I can tell, I think they told me the other day. I don't know. I don't remember. I, I want to say over 30 folks have worked with them. That I might be messing things up, but I think that's true. So I think they're, I think they're doing good work. I have not used them yet. I wanted to use that second product, uh, but apparently it was it, the the when they dug into it, it was a, it didn't fit my my um, building profile. 
Uh, in some of these newer influencer syndicates run into trouble with bad assumptions, how do you think they will save face? They won't. They will be the classic Warren Buffett, let's see who's swimming naked. The best example I have for you in the syndication space is look what happened to Celsius, the crypto coin thing. It was proved to be fraud. Now this guy who ran off with billions of dollars has a red notice out there. It's going to end badly. It's going to be lawsuits. They won't. They won't be able to hide their face. They won't be. It, it, as as Thatch Nguyen says, the bigger the name, the lower the return. Have I got any real estate this year? No, I bought a duplex late last year. Uh, I'm only looking for seller finance deals, and I'm expecting to get something between November and New Year's Eve. You'll hear more about that on Monday with the Hub. We've already spent probably three or four grand on marketing, direct mail, this thing. I've spent four grand on this. We have some warm leads. I'm setting up a new marketing campaign, so I'm trying. But uh, I won't do a skinny deal. Uh, I think the seller and buyers are in la-la land right now. So uh, no, but my plan is to get a deal done between Thanksgiving and New Year's. So that's my plan. It's my hope. That's my vision. I got to get one done. Got to get one done. Uh, the deal I'm looking at 504010 was evaluated conventional lending, just trying to save the DP. Yeah, I think so. Da, da, da. Yeah, the 504010, when you really understand it, is, is a great tool because that 40%, if you do it right, allows you to get a blended interest rate uh, that is abnormally low. It's pretty awesome. Yeah, your local market sticky, stupid high prices, still doing the work. Yeah, that's kind of where I'm at. It it will it will break. You, we will find sellers that need to sell. So, all right, folks, I'm going to call this right now because I want to get ready. I got one more slide I need to add to the Bigger Pockets event. If you're one of my students, uh, remember the invite is in the uh, Facebook group. If you have my free course, I sent out the invite on Teachable. Check your spam folder. Uh, it came from Teachable. So see you all in a little bit. Bye-bye.